there are, in my view, a few specific real-time lead indicators when it comes to the housing market that will give you an idea where the market is headed. A lot of people like to focus on pricing and percentage of asking price received. The problem with that data, it's all lagged. You don't get sale prices until sometimes 30, 60, 90 days after the homes go under contract. So this is going to be a little more real-time information. And the first one is going to be the number of homes with price adjustments in the market. So uh, Housing Wire does a nice job of putting together something that they call their housing market tracker. And they look at how many percentage, so what, what are the number of homes that have a price adjustment in them. And to give you some perspective, the current amount of price adjustments right now for active inventory across the country. Now, again, this is national data. It's not going to be as good as local, but it's a good start. 39.5% of all the homes last week that were on the market had a price adjustment. So, And that's compared to the previous weeks, which is 39% in 2023 and 43% in 2022. So that tells you that even though we're seeing the average list to sales price ratio in our marketplace is 100.6 to 100.7% in the suburbs, it's just under 97% in the city of Philadelphia, you're seeing that more people are making adjustments than they have in the past. And that is an indicator that while pricing is strong, prices are still going up, you're seeing the ability to negotiate more with home sellers. Typically, that correlates to days on market. So if you see days on market in the double digits, meaning 10 or more, remember the median days on market in the suburban marketplace in Philadelphia is only 11. So that tells you there might be the ability to negotiate. And this percentage of listings with the price adjustment that you see, and again, that's a national number, that's going to be a great indicator of where the market's going. So that's data point number one. Data point number two is inventory growth. So year over year, and I'm going to have Nick put this slide up for us, we are seeing 32% more homes on the market nationally than we have in the past. So what we're seeing here is that we're in no man's land between the pandemic unicorn years and the pre-pandemic years prior to 2019. So the good news is more homes are coming to the market. This has been a pain point for buyers and for sellers especially. So knowing that's the case, there's going to be more options in front of you, which is great. We're still not at those pre-pandemic numbers. And what that means is that while we're growing, you're still at a shortage of homes. And we're getting close, but we're also in that seasonal decline. This was the first week we've seen uh, so far this fall where inventory decreased uh, compared to the previous week. We're down just off the peak nationally. But again, we're focusing on local numbers. And locally, we're at a 23% growth in inventory, 229 to be specific, through the month of September. And that has a lot to do with being in the Northeast, being in a little bit more of a stable market, a more seasonal market than places like Florida, Texas, where they're seeing tons of inventory growth. So that's something you want to keep your eye on when there's more options out there that can be more appealing to buyers. So that's a great indicator to look at is the number of homes for sale and the month supply, how long it would take for all these homes to sell. And the third data point you want to look at is the Mortgage Purchase Application Index. So what the Mortgage Purchase Application Index is, it's a weekly measurement nationwide of home loan applications that are being submitted. Now remember, mortgage applications cannot be filed unless you have an agreement of sale that's executed for a property. So this is really not only a measurement of people that are, are filing mortgage applications, it's a measurement of pending sales, where the market's headed, what's trending right now. And this is a great data point to look at also. So if you look at this chart here, Right now, we're coming in just above 138 on the index, and that's down significantly. Well, sales are pretty much flat this year. We've seen a small change in, in some areas, but sales are relatively flat. They're down a little bit from where we were last year, a couple percentage points, and the lowest level of home sales since 1995. So what this data point indicates is that there's movement in the market, and there's just less than where there was. And if you look at this chart historically, you can see how that rises and falls with the number of homes that are selling. So when you want to understand how the market's moving, you've got the purchase application index updated weekly in real time shows you where sales are trending. So you can get ahead of those maybe spikes in activity or those spike in pending sales. You can look at the percentage of homes that have an adjustment. It shows you what the sellers are feeling and what they're seeing to try to get their homes sold. And you want to look at how much inventory is coming to the market. So we've got a measurement on sellers. 
we've got a measurement on buyer activity, and we've got a measurement on where pricing is headed. And that's going to give you more information to determine what's going to be the right move for you. So if you're looking at this data and maybe a little lost, here's the good news. We do this all the time, and our team can help you navigate it. All you need to do for a no-commitment conversation is schedule a call with us with the link in the comments.